Hey everybody, Ben here with We Go Fishing. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you real quick how to make a double drop or some call it a pompano rig. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to make that and exactly how to do that. Uh, you can use this rig whether it be from a boat, pier, uh, whether it be from the jetties, or whether you're fishing in the surf. This is a very handy rig uh, to know how to make up and I'll show you exactly how to get to that. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Let's get right into making that rig. Uh, I use a 25 pound mono uh, when I'm tying this line. You can go up to 40 uh, pound. You can go even heavier than that depending on what you're fishing for um, using that type of rig. But I use 25 for my pompano rigs. I use kale hooks for this as well. This is a size one aught uh, kale hooks I use from these. Uh, and I think that those work very well. You also need barrel swivels with a snap. And the reason why you need a snap one, um, I'll show you that in just a minute when we tie up the rig. You also need barrel swivels and uh, barrel swivels will be helpful. Also, you need a bead or some type of float. Um, and depending on what your preference is, I go to the dollar store and I buy flip flops. And then I bought a punch set and I use the punch set to, to make my floats. Um, and I find that they're very effective, but you can also use the beads as well uh, when making this rig. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do um, is you're gonna take your uh, mono and you're gonna cut it about a three foot section. Um, you're gonna probably need less than that, but it's about a three foot section um, is what you're gonna need. And you're gonna, what, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come down about halfway down um, that section of mono. And then you're going to come up about halfway from that and you're going to uh, tie a T knot. Since that down and that becomes your first dropper loop. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Come up about halfway up your mono. Come about halfway down uh, that section and tie another T knot. Okay, so now we've got both of our T knots. You can, you can see that hopefully there's one of them. There's the top of the line here in, in my left hand. There's one of the T-knots. There's the second one. And there's the bottom of the rig there. So that's that's the, the totality of the rig that you're going to have. Uh, the, the next thing that I do, and this depends on your preference. One of the things that some people do is they'll take this, this section here and they'll flatten it out and they'll take their float and they'll put it on that section there. And you can do that. I don't do that because I find that that actually gets tangled up, although it does allow you to switch out hooks much quicker. But what I do is I come down here and I cut my line to give me, an, uh, to cut that loop to give me another line. And that is where I attach my first kale hook. And I use a snell knot to attach the kale hook. again. Before I tie that hook on, now that I've cut that line, I also want to put on my float or my bead depending on what I am using. Again, this I'm using a float that I've made from my sandal. And then I'm gonna take my hook, I'm gonna put it on, and I'm gonna tie my snell knot um, to attach this hook. And again, very easy knot to tie, but I would encourage you, if you don't know how to tie a snell knot, go online, learn how to do that. I think it increases your hookup ratio uh, for this type of application. I've got that tied on, I'm gonna clip off my tag. And I'm gonna go down to my other loop, uh, down here on the other side of my rig, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna cut one of the, the sections off, and then I'm going to take that line, I'm gonna put on my float, and then I'm going to tie the second hook on using that same Snell knot. Now that that's tied on, I'll go ahead and clip my tag and you can see now that I have what will become the double drop rig. You can see there's are the two drops uh, that we'll make. And then the last part of this and the easy part is on one side of it, I'm going to tie my barrel swivel, which will allow me to tie into my main line um, from my fishing rod. And I use an improved cinch knot for this. You can use your fisherman's knot, whatever you think is your favorite knot, uh, you can tie onto this. Okay, with that knot tied, I'll clip off my tag there. And then I'll come to the other side and I will tie on my barrel swivel with a snap using that same knot that I used at the top. 
that improved cinch. And then now that's tied, I'll clip off my tag end there. And this becomes my double drop rig. And as you can see, I've got my swivel at the top, which connects to the main line, and then drop number one, drop number two, and then the barrel swivel with the snap on the bottom, which you can take and you can put on your weight uh, that you will use. That's for the purpose of that snap, is so that you can attach a weight to. So just a very easy rig. We use this, we catch reds, we catch pompano, we catch speckled trout, we catch all kinds of fish using this double drop rig that you can make at home, very inexpensive uh, to make. And I uh, would encourage you to try this, give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And until next time, may you always catch your limit.